Coventry are getting on with it, and there's a glorious ball. Keen. Roussel in the box. Comes to meet it near post. He really had it across, and what a great reaction! The Belgian has scored. Coventry in front. Keane made it, but what a superb finish! Well, it was superb play all round, wasn't it? Great break from Chipo, releases Keane, one-on-one, -on -one, teases Delaney, always wants to come on his outside, gets it into the near post, great run from the striker, Roussel, gets across the front of Gareth Southgate, brilliant goal. Wheeling with Roussel, all keen to aim at, and it's straight under Andy Marshall's hapless body for a second goal for Coventry City, and it's the substitute. Cedric Roussel. And here is Frogger. Used to be an out and out left winger, I remember, in his days at Aston Villa. Nicely done. Haji. Oh, it drops neatly, and Coventry City have the lead. And it's Cedric Roussel again. The young Belgian. It fell kindly for him. And Coventry are ahead. More problems in the league for Chelsea. Let's unravel this a nice one-touch play. Haji shot, took a nice deflection, and Roussel getting the bounce of the ball he wanted, finished it off. His third Coventry goal. First Division pace setters Charlton Athletic for the Sky Blues opposition in the fifth round of the FA Cup. A competition which many supporters believe Coventry could now win due to many of the big names being knocked out. Andy Hunt scored the winner for... Frog it to Eustace. And it comes to Roussel! And Coventry bite back! And Eustace has put Roussel in here! Oh, he's got another one! And again, it was tremendously taken by... Cedric Russell. I think Old Trafford will stay a big moment for me because when you score two goals in Old Trafford, it's, uh, it's amazing against the European champion. Oh, there might be an opportunity here for the Russell and Cedric Russell scores. It's 3-0. What an afternoon for City. problems at the back and Roussel slots the ball home Eustace space opening up in front of John Eustace and that's a nice ball to Noel Whelan and Roussel Coventry in front after six and a half minutes a pretty scrappy goal but at this stage of the season, and given the relative plight of the two sides, Coventry at least will argue that it doesn't matter how they go in. His header hit the back of the other number nine, Mark Draper. Southampton were caught out on the far side. And yes, Coventry had two men over. Eustace, Williams, Bellamy, all waiting as well for Telfer's kick. And there's Roussel, and it's in. The sort of goal that sides hate to concede. Because it came from a very defendable set piece. The goalkeeper came a good way out, flailed at it, but Roussel was there decisively. Long ball forward, it's Roussel off chasing, the buff. Manages to get this back to De Hoy, who's gifted this to Rassel, who makes it 6-1. A consolation for the Belgian striker and for Coventry. 
Well, with just a couple of minutes to go, Ed De Hoy has really gifted Coventry a goal back. Well, the back pass here from Frank LaBeouf and Cedric Russell didn't stop chasing, and the ball-juggling skills of Ed De Hoy really let down the big Dutchman straight into the chest of Russell, and presented with a simple task to pull one back for Coventry, 6-1. 